Hi everyone, it's Fatima again. Um, I just want to first of all say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, we were talking last night, well I was talking last night about a book that I have read by um, Ginger Garrett. Um, it's called Beauty Secrets of the Bible and I wanted to share one of the beauty secrets with you. Um, my face has actually been clearing up a lot since I've been doing all of her regimens, but today I'm just going to show you one of her regimens. It is, um, you have to have dried goat milk, which you can get at any um, health food store. It's in a little package, about that big, and um, it's, it's dried goat milk. You could even get get it at Wegmans. Um, so, it's, I used one cup of dry goat milk, which is a, exactly one cup is in the bag, and um, one cup of raw oats, and I put that into my blender, and I blended it up. So now it looks like um, this really beautiful powder, and. It smells so good. Now, um, Ginger recommends using the goat milk because of the moisturizing qualities of the, um, the goat milk itself. But she also says that if you can't find goat milk, that you can use any dry milk and um, that will also do. So what you do is you get one handful of your goat milk. And when you're in the bathroom, after you've washed your face, make sure you wash your face with an organic um, cleanser. You don't want to put anything harsh on your face because remember, your skin is your largest organ. And whatever you put onto your skin, your skin will eat it. So, um, you're going to get your goat milk in your hand and you're going to put little droplets of water on it until it's like a the consistency of... Um, maybe Play-Doh, and um, then you're going to rub it all over your face, and it feels so good you don't want to stop rubbing your face. Um, you're going to rub it all over your face, and, and when you wash, rinse your face off, your skin feels so smooth, and all it is, um, the dry goat's milk cost me like four bucks, and I already had the oats here. That's all it is. And look at this. Man, this is going to last me a long, long time. I mean, look at that. One little handful. I mean, every night when I, when I do this, this is going to last at least one or two months. Um, and that is the best beauty regimen you could ever put on your face at night. Now, some, some people do it at night and in the morning, but I just do it at night because it makes me feel so luxurious when I lay down on my satin sheets. Um, now, probably tomorrow I'm going to tell you about what I do and what is in this jar here. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. And tomorrow I get my bare minerals. Yay, I get paid. And um, I'm so excited about that because... I cannot wear anything but bare minerals. Right now, I'm I'm wearing the shadow and the the blush, but um, I I don't have the, the um, foundation on with the mineral veil. Um, I look totally different with that. Um, I do want to show you. Um, I showed you last last night about the pimples that I'm having issues with. I haven't stopped having pimples since I had my um, son, my last child, and he's six now. And before that, I never got pimples. Never. I mean, I would get one before that special time of the month, but I would never get acne. So, um, and I don't believe in birth control. I'm a Catholic. So, um, I am not going to take birth control to clear my skin up. I'm going to do it the right way. And there has to be a right way out there somewhere. Um... Ginger Garrett also says um, that as women, we need to be beautiful from the inside out. Um, we need to be spiritual. Women are spiritual. Look at Queen Esther. Um, you just have to pray a lot. I mean, not a lot. Just pray and tell God, thank you, Jesus, uh, for the body that I have. 
Thank you for making me healthy that I'm not in a wheelchair or I'm not unable to speak or my mind is not bad. I mean, there's so many blessings that we have. Um, and if you are in a wheelchair, then that is, that is a blessing for you. You are special. But what I'm saying is that beauty is not just skin deep. It is outer beauty comes before... I mean, inner beauty comes before outer beauty. If I feel a good, confident relationship with God, then my eyes radiate beauty. My eyes say, I am confident that my Savior is going to make me the way He wants me to be. And I'm going to try my best to do that by exercising and, um, and being as natural as I can. God didn't make synthetic labs where um, your lotions are made. No. He made oils and, and beautiful scents for you as women. Us women, we are luckier than, than men could ever be. God has favored us so much. We can use oils. We can use makeup. We can, we can be who we want to be through God. So um, don't forget your goat milk, oatmeal mix. Remember to put it in the blender together, one cup, one cup. And blend it and then put it in your little... Um, Tupperware, and you have the most luxurious milk mask. I even use it as a mask. I'll just put it all over and wait, uh, keep it on for about 30 minutes. So your milk mask, your milk facial, it's all here, and it feels so good. So try it out, and the next beauty tip I'm going to give you from the Bible is in this little jar. Have a good day. Bye.